So that's a second. Here's another second. There's another second. There's another second. There's another second. Well, not sure if you know this, but over 67,000 searches happen on Google every single second. And today alone, there will be over 5.6 billion, yes, billion with a B, searches that are happening on Google alone. If your business is not set up on Google My Business and on the Google Maps, you are losing out on a tremendous amount of business potential and exposure for your business. Out of all of those searches that are happening uh, for the Google My Business listing specifically, there is a huge number of those, about 84% that are discovery searches. If you're not on there, you're not discoverable. So this is something we're gonna talk about today. We're gonna to talk about optimizing your Google My Business profile, getting yourself on there, why it's important, and how to get the most out of it. So without further ado, let's go ahead and roll right into it. Love my yerba mates. Well, welcome back to another Adrian graphics and marketing video. Today's video is about optimizing your Google My Business listing, even getting your business listing up on Google. If you don't have a Google My Business listing yet, you need to do that right away. That's going to be another video for another day because the point of today's video is all about optimizing your existing listing. One thing I will tell you is go to business.google.com and that'll take you where you can actually set your Google My Business listing up. So that's a great place to start. Once you get that, they're gonna send out a postcard, you get it verified, and then you'll be able to be ready for this video that we're gonna talk about today. But before we get started, please hit, a, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, drop a comment, introduce yourself, tell us what you do. Maybe you're a graphic designer, maybe you're a web designer, you're some sort of a creative, I'm guessing. So drop your information down below, tell us where you're from. I wanna to get to know you and hear a little bit more about you. So today's business video is about optimizing your Google My Business listing. And there are gonna be 10 things we're gonna talk about today. And of course, the first one is probably gonna be the most in-depth, so this may be a little bit longer of a video, but this is gonna be a lot of fun because this is gonna help you get some deeper understanding of Google My Business and help you really get the most out of it so you can start getting more of those discovery searches, start increasing that volume, increasing your website clicks, increasing your calls, and all the different actions that can happen like map views and post views and picture views. We wanna get your activity up and get the momentum built. So number one is completing all of your info. I can't stress to you enough how often I see businesses, they don't have all this filled out. They don't have their services fill, filled out. They don't have their uh, products filled out. They don't have their, uh, even their, their social links. You need to have your social links in there. There's so much information that's just left empty that they need to be putting in there. And if you don't have that set up in your business, that is the first thing you need to do. So there's a list of things that you can have in there. You do your social links, your phone numbers, your hours, any kind of special things like if you're a black owned business or if you're a woman owned business, things like that. These are all important things that you need to fill out within your Google My Business profile, along with your phone number, um, along with your website address. You need to make sure you have your website in there. That's very, very important. Your logo needs to be in there. And then there is even like a thumbnail, kind of like a header image that you can upload in there as well. There's just a ton of information that you wanna make sure you go in there and fill out. Now, specifically on your business description, you wanna make sure that it is SEO friendly for your local area because 46% of Google My Business searches that are happening are local. In fact, all searches that are happening online are local searches by 46%, 46% of them. So that's a really big number. Almost half of all the searches that are happening online are local and you want your business to show up when they're doing those local searches. So making sure that you have your keyword of the area that you're in, the primary keyword, making sure that you have the right category and you're going after the right niche. You may not know this, but there are over 3,900 different categories that you can pick from inside of your Google My Business listing, which is huge. There's a ton of options for you, but you wanna get as specific as possible. If you're a septic company, don't just put in septic company, put in septic contractor, septic pumping, get very specific about what you're doing. If you're a graphic designer, what kind of graphic designer are you? Are you a logo designer? Are you a web designer? Are you a brand designer? Are you a uh, uh, illustrator? Are you a print designer? What kind of graphic design is it that you do? And same thing with web design. Are you doing landing page design? There's tons of categories you can fill out. And then you wanna put those details of the kind of business that you are inside of your description. So when people are searching for best brand identity designer or corporate identity designer, 
you come up in those search results. That's very important for you to be able to do that. And then also your services. So if you do logo design and graphic design and web design and social graphics and video graphics and all the different things you do, you wanna list out every single one of those. There's 300 characters that you can fill out inside of each one of those boxes, which is really great, it's super helpful. And out of those 300 characters, you wanna make sure you get a couple of the keywords that are specific that people are searching for those things. So if you're doing logo design, brand identity design, corporate logo design, nonprofit logo design, maybe just a couple of those different ones in there, as well as, again, your geographical area, Sacramento, Cleveland, um, Pensacola, wherever you're located, you wanna put those keywords in every single service that you offer. That's a really important part of this as well, okay? Now, jumping over to number two is using a local tracking number. Google does something really cool that most other directory listing sites don't let you do, is they allow you to put multiple numbers in your listing. You wanna set your primary one as a local tracking number. So a 916 or a 530 or a 503, whatever area you're in, you put your tracking number in there. And then below that, you can actually put your main business number. So it allows you to have multiple numbers in there. But what that's gonna allow you to do is be able to track how much business is coming from your Google My Business listing. This is super helpful to know, okay, I had 10 calls last month and now I have 30 calls. And to be able to see the growth based on the changes that you're making from the knowledge that you're getting in this video. Okay, so that's very, very important to use a local tracking service. And we have that for you as well. If you need help with that, that's called leadbutler.io. You can look that up. We have an amazing call tracking system that you can utilize there. Um, and then your de the detailed business description. I already mentioned this a little bit, but writing out that description of who your company is, what makes you different, what makes you stand out. The big D as I talk about, the differentiator. You wanna differentiate yourself from everybody else. So go look at your competition. Go type in the competitive keywords that you're trying to rank for search that and see what they're writing in their descriptions. Like I said, make sure you have those local geographical keywords, make sure you put things in there that are inspirational, that move people physically, emotionally, logically, and ethically. These are all really important pieces to this. Okay, now number four is upload great images. If you're a graphic designer or web designer, you need to be showcasing your work, you need to be showcasing your office, you need to be showcasing your team, anything you can do to add more humanity, to add more of credibility and authority to your business, those images are gonna help you do this. A really, really cool part of what I do is doing so much visual work and so much design work. What I like to say is we translate people's words into images. And so as part of our work, we create ideas and brands out of nothing. I mean, people come to us and say, hey, I wanna start an elderberry business. And we pop up a new name and a new identity and it becomes and it takes on its own life. And so we can actually tell that story through images. And so your Google My Business is a great place to show that. Okay, now number five, and this is something that most businesses, if not all of them, very seldomly do, and that is posting regularly. You should be on there at least three days a week at the very bare minimum once a week. I think that posting between one and three times a week is a really good pace to be able to keep up with. You're not overwhelming yourself. And there are softwares that you can use to help you do that. So when you're posting to your Facebook page, you're also posting to your Google My Business. There's different softwares that we use that we can help you with. If you want to have that done for you and you just don't have the time, reach out to experts like us. And that's something that we would love to help you with. But posting at least one to three times a week on your Google My Business profile is going to help you get a lot more exposure, reach a lot more people and help build a lot more credibility. Okay, now number six, and this is a big one too that a lot of people fall off on, is generating reviews. There's a short little link and we're actually going to create a really cool document that you can get from us. Uh, there's going to explain this in more detail and in more depth so you'll be able to look forward to that uh, and i'll post a link here in the description for it but generating reviews you can actually get a little short link and then email that out to all of your existing customers all your past customers all your new customers that's a link that is going to be gold for you and every single person that you do business with should be writing a review there you want to make sure they're authentic that they're real and that they're well thought out it's okay to have a shorter one but you want to make sure that it is actually relevant to what your service is that you provided for them because those are also seo search engine friendly keywords that will be in that review these guys developed an amazing website these guys built me an amazing brand these guys did an amazing sign job for me these guys did an amazing sales funnel for me making sure that those keywords are in the reviews are also very important okay now let's jump over to number seven responding to reviews this is a very sensitive area for most people because you're not always going to get positive reviews you can't make every single person happy so you need to be able to think about how you're gonna to respond to these reviews in a way that is gonna be professional, that is gonna be courteous, but also hold the person that's writing you a negative review accountable. And then being able to show that you're extremely grateful for the positive reviews. 
You gotta make sure that if someone's completely wrong or maybe it's a competitor, if it's a bad review, you respond in a way that holds them accountable, but also shows humility, that shows that you care, that shows you're not a jerk. And so a lot of people will write really mean reviews back and that's not gonna be helpful. It's gonna make you look unprofessional. So just make sure that you're, you're the customer is always right type of thing. But also you wanna make sure that, it's, hey, we've tried to contact you. We're willing to do anything we can to help you. I'm sorry that we had this disagreement or I'm sorry we weren't able to meet your deadlines. You know, next time we'll make sure that we get a little bit uh, later of a deadline and just being able to share your side of the story too without being a jerk about it. That's really important, but it's important that you respond to every single review that you get because that's going to help you push yourself up on the Google My Business listings as well. And the goal for you in all of this, and this is my main mission through all this, is for you to show up in what they call the map pack. Those first three listings, those are the guys that are getting the majority of the sales and the majority of the traffic. So number eight is adding social links. Google actually lets you put your social links to your Facebook page, to your Twitter, to your Instagram, to your different social media profiles so you can list those things there. And that would be really, really helpful for you as well to be able to list your business social profiles on there as well. Um, and then number nine is citations. You may not know what citations are, but essentially there are websites and directories that give you mentions or what Google likes to say is a vote. It's a vote for you. So if you don't have citations, that are going back to your name, address, and phone number, your Google My Business listing, that's gonna hurt you as well. If you actually send citations back to your Google My Business, you're gonna to start to see your Google My Business listing climb pretty quickly, especially if you've done all the things that we've talked about here above. And then the last one, number 10, and this is important as well, because a lot of people will just set it and forget it, is you need to be going into your Google My Business listing on a regular basis. On a regular basis means at least once a month, but most likely a couple times a month updating new offers, posting photos, posting, doing actual posts. Google actually lets you do the Google My Business listings, lets you do offers, lets you do a welcome offer, lets you do events, what's new, um, coupons. There's all kinds of really cool things you can do as a post. So you should be getting in there at least twice a month, if not once a week, and updating your Google My Business listing regularly. If you wait too long, you can actually get penalized and Google will actually take down your listing and make you re-verify and start the whole process in terms of the verification over again. Getting a new postcard, then you go down, you have to work your way at building it all back up. So make sure you log in there on a regular basis at least a couple times a month to keep your, keep your Google My Business listings relevant, to keep them updated, and to keep them fresh. So I hope that was really helpful. Like I said, we're gonna have a document that we're gonna post in the description of this video here in just a few days. Uh, so stay up with me on that. In the meantime, make sure you drop a comment, make sure you hit the subscribe button, and follow all of our videos because we're going to have a lot more amazing content coming for you guys. We're just excited to get more clear, clear and get more clarity for you guys, help you guys grow your business, help you guys get more marketing clarity, more growth, more sales growth, all the things that we want for you as graphic designers or as creative. So thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you guys in the next video. And as always, keep looking up.